turn into four. And open it up. Inside the vase. What's up? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you seven magic tricks with balls. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this is a great magic prank that you can do to someone who plays golf. Maybe your dad or one of your friends. You're gonna switch their golf ball with this. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Or this is a magic exploding golf ball. It looks just like a normal golf ball, just like a normal one, but it's not a real ball. It's actually hollow, and as soon as they hit it, it will explode into a poof of smoke and just completely disappear. And as you can see, the ball just explodes into a cloud of powder just completely disappears. You can see a couple little pieces of it over here. So it's just this hollow exterior. It's almost like eggshell thin. And inside the ball is this white powder. So you just gotta make sure you switch this out with their normal golf balls, then stand back, watch, and laugh as it explodes and ruins their drive. And that is how you do the magic exploding golf ball prank. Okay, for this one, you're gonna make a sponge ball magically multiply. Let's take a look. So you're gonna take one sponge ball, wave it like this, and it'll magically turn into two. Oh! Now we're gonna make these two magically turn into three. Watch, with a wave, just like this, they turn into three. For the last time, we'll take this one, put it over here, and you can watch the three turn into four. So we're left with one, two, three, four sponge balls. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. So the secret to this is you need four sponge balls and one of these. It's a magic hollow shell of a sponge ball. The half a shell that fits around the outside of a sponge ball just like this. And here's the secret move to the trick. When I'm holding it like this, I actually got the sponge ball loaded in the back. When I'm waving it back and forth, this finger comes under and I'm able to just pull a sponge ball right out of the back of the shell. So from an exposed view, I'm like this, boom. And that's what makes it look like the sponge balls magically multiply. Then I'm reaching into my pocket and I'm palming another sponge ball right here in my fingers so that when I come up to move this ball over here, I'm secretly placing the other sponge ball that's palmed in my hand into the back of the shell and loading it for the next appearance of the next sponge ball. And I'm just repeating that same move using my middle finger to make the ball appear. Same thing, palming another ball, moving this to this position, and in that motion, putting that ball underneath. And repeating that action one more time for the last. Then slowly dropping the balls one by one onto the table. You're removing this ball from your pocket, again palmed. Dropping it onto the table as you palm off your shell so that you can end clean with four real sponge balls that you can pass around for inspection to your audience. And that is how you do the magic multiplying sponge ball trick. Okay, this one is a classic sponge ball routine. I'm gonna show it to you, Veronica. Uh, just hold out your hand for me, just like that and place it around the sponge ball, like close your fist around it, turn your hand like this, perfect. Turn it back over and open your hand. We've established that you can do that, that's the first part of the trick. <laughs> so uh, we, have, wow. we have two sponge balls. I'm gonna take one, sit it down on the table over here, and this one is gonna go right here in my hand there. Take this one and hold out your hand for me, you know the drill, close your hand around it, turn your hand over like this, hold it just like that. I take the ball in my hand, throw it right over, turn your hand back over, like this, oh and open it up, and you can see <laughs> they've both gone into your hand wow. just like that. Now, wow. you right? Wow, So, yes. I've got a third sponge ball here, so we have three balls now. I'm gonna take one here in my hand, the other two are gonna go in your hand, just like that, close <laughs> tightly. So there's no way I could get to it. Watch, one, two, no three, across, turn your hand over, <laughs> like this, and open all three right there what? in your hand. There you go. Oh, wow. So for this routine, you're gonna need three sponge balls. These are just little balls that are cut out of a sponge material. It's like really soft and pliable. 
and easy to compress. So what you're gonna do with these, it's a really simple move that you're just gonna repeat over and over. You're gonna grab the ball in your hand like this, between your thumb and your forefinger. And as you bring it over into this hand, and this hand comes up, and to bring the ball back into this position. In slow motion, it's like this. So it looks like the ball gets placed into that hand, but I'm actually keeping it over here. Just like that. So slow motion. Boom. So this hand is coming up to provide cover of you doing it. So to your audience, it's gonna look like you put the ball there. You can grab the other sponge ball off the table and you're gonna add that ball to it. So you're actually holding two as one and that's what you place into their hand. Because the balls are so pliable and soft, they're not really gonna be able to tell the difference between one and two. So when they turn their hand over and open it up, they're gonna be really amazed that your ball has magically jumped across into their hand. Do the final phase with the one ball jumping across to join the other two. You simply repeat the process, boom here. Grab the other two balls, adding that one to it. Place all three in their hand and boom. Here's a great tip to perfecting the sponge ball move. You want the move, that's the move. You want it to look like, you want it to look exactly like when you actually put the ball in your hand. You want to not be able to tell the difference between those two things. So here's me actually putting it in my hand. Like that. That was real. And here's the move. Could you tell the difference? Let's try. That was for real. That was for real. That was the move. Could you tell the difference? Practice it in the mirror until you cannot tell the difference between the real deal and you doing the move. Okay, this is another cool golf ball trick. Let's take a look. So you're gonna grab a club and challenge your friend to a golf ball putting challenge. All right, Eric, one shot each. <laughs> How many is that now? Five? Uh, yes, I think I'm over par. Okay, here's the secret behind this fun magic prank. So this is a fun little magic prop. It's called the unputta ball. And it looks like a normal golf ball, of course. So you can switch it out with someone's normal golf ball when they're not looking, and then when they go to putt it, even if you try to roll it in a straight line, it just rolls in a circle. So the reason it's doing that is because there's a large metal weight in the bottom of the ball. So it's always going to roll in a really wonky fashion like this. You're never going to get it to roll straight. They're going to struggle thinking their ball is messed up. Green is uneven or something. They're going to have no idea why this golf ball is doing this. Super funny magic prank you can do on somebody who plays golf. And that is how you do the magic unputtable ball. All right, another fun sponge ball trick here. This one's kind of like a challenge though. So I'm gonna take this one in my hand here. See it there? Yes. All right, watch. You gonna see it? Just like that? Yes. Now look, it actually jumps into my pocket right over here. <laughs> now watch, if I take it into this hand right here, I'm actually going to put it in one of these two hands. Do you know which one it's in? One of these two hands. This is the challenge. You think it's in this one? Are you sure? Yeah. You can change your mind if you want. This one. You think it's in this one? This one's actually a black ball. And then this <laughs> one that? is a red square. <gasps> wow. <laughs> the colored ball is actually back over here in my pocket. Oh my God. <laughs> so pretty simple explanation for this one. You do need this large foam cube has a hole in the bottom. That's a major key to this trick. And you're gonna need two sponge balls. One black, can be any color you want, but black works nicely because it contrasts the red very well. So then you'll also need a red sponge ball too. So we start out the trick with the red sponge ball. We're gonna do our classic sponge ball move right there, making it look like we put it into that hand. Just like that. You're gonna vanish it, make it disappear. And then you're gonna take this sponge ball that's palmed in your hand, and you're gonna switch it for this. And here's how we make this little gimmick. We're gonna take the black ball, put it on the bottom of our sponge cube, we're gonna push it up through the sponge cube like this. And it's gonna create this little pocket around the black sponge ball. And from the front, it kind of looks like a sponge ball. So this is gonna start out in our pocket right there. Are there sponge balls here? We've made it vanish for them. We've got it palmed here. Now we're gonna ditch this into our pocket while we pick up this sponge ball. After it's vanished, we're gonna say, look, it's jumped into my pocket. You're gonna pull it out like this, being careful not to expose that part to them. And then you're going to push it into your fist. This part's gonna go on the top of your fist like that. And then your finger is going to push the sponge ball down into your fist. 
And what's happening on the back side is that black ball is getting pushed out into your hand and the cube is getting turned right side out. Then you retain the cube in this hand, black ball in this hand, ask them which hand the red ball is in and no matter which they choose, they're gonna be wrong and amazed. Fun magic challenge, super cool ball trick that you can do with a little bit of practice. All right, this one's gonna use our magic base from the shop, check this out. Sit it down on the table, you can see it's empty. I'm gonna put the little lid on like this. I'm gonna take the ball, watch. It's gonna go right there in my hand, look. Vanishes and look right here inside the vase. The ball. Dump that out right into your hand. Now, what if we could take this a step further and put the ball back in the vase? Take the lid, cleanly put it on, wave our hand over top, and make the ball completely disappear. Okay, here is the secret behind this amazing trick. So a very simple explanation to this trick. We ship this trick worldwide. It comes with all the pieces that you need to do it, all four pieces. It comes with your little red ball. It comes with this false top that makes it look like the ball's in the vase and the lid so that you can make it disappear just like that. And all it does is pick up the ball into the lid of the vase. The bottom of your false top looks like the inside of the lid. So it's a really convincing illusion that that ball has just disappeared. And the way I made this ball vanish in the first place was just that same simple move. Doing it between my two fingers like that instead of like that. So again, just practice it until it looks like until you can't tell the difference between the move and the real thing and you'll be sure to blow some people's minds with this amazing ball trick. And that is how you do the magic ball base trick. Maybe. Can I try? Nice. So the reason that works is the air blowing out of the pipe pushes the ball up of Bernoulli's principle. <laughs> so it's really simple, you just put the little ball down in the pipe, blow on it, and it floats. Really easy, kids can do it super easy. Ava got the hang of it in a matter of seconds. If you want one of these blow pipes, you can pick one up on the Evanera TV Hi. shop. I'll put it, what's up? <laughs> so if you want to pick one of these up, I will put a link in the description. Get one now before they sell out. We have a limited supply of them. We're going to be shipping them worldwide though. We'll also put a mobile card right here and a little end screen annotation thing that you can click if you're on mobile. So if you want to get a blowpipe and have some fun, they're pretty affordable in the shop right now. Go check them out. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the props from this video. So if you want to win one, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up and share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. You can leave as many comments as you want in the comment section. I'll be picking comments from the comment section and I will mail you your very own magic prop so that you can perform the tricks at home. So leave as many comments as you want in the comment section below. You can leave unlimited comments. The more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning. All right guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last how-to magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawings and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. I just want to send a big heartfelt thank you to everyone who has placed an order on the shop so far on EvanerraTV.com. We have shipped orders all over the world. I cannot thank you guys enough for supporting the movement and helping us spread the magic worldwide. I am truly humbled and appreciative for your support. Thank you. That being said, if you've never heard about our online shop, I'll ask you to please go check it out. There's a link in the description and a mobile card and there'll also be like a little end screen thing that you can click on if you're on mobile. Go check out the online store and if you see something you like, pick it up. If you don't know about my second channel on YouTube, I upload a lot of videos there. That is Evan Era Vlogs. There's a link for that as well. Come subscribe and see a lot of cool content you don't see on this main channel here. Cool travel videos, behind the scenes of how-to magic, and a whole lot more. So be sure to click the link in the description below and check out my vlog channel. If you have an Instagram account, go add me on Instagram. My name is Evan Rosenman. This name right here. Go follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of cool pictures on there. I might even be doing some cool giveaways that are exclusive to Instagram. So if you want to win something, go follow me on Instagram at this name right here. You never know. I might even get crazy and do like a follow back spree. I don't, I don't know. As always guys, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. You can watch another How To Magic video by clicking right over here. Check out the shop by clicking right over here. And until next time, thank you for coming back to the channel where anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.